Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter and I'm a developer advocate for Bluemix at IBM. Uh, and I've gotten a couple of questions about how to do builds using IBM's DevOps services if your Java project is using Maven. So I thought I would demonstrate how easy that actually is. So here I have a project uh, set up in IBM DevOps services. Um, it's using Maven, it's a very simple Java project. If we look at the POM, we'll see that the POM is extremely simple as well. There's nothing particularly interesting happen. It's just being packaged as a WAR file. So your basic kind of Maven uh, WAR packaging setup here. Um, but to do a build of this project using Maven, using IBM's DevOps services, is actually very easy. Uh, from your project in IBM DevOps services, you just go to build and deploy. And we need to add a stage, and we're going to add a build stage for our project. So let's add a stage here. And uh, we'll call it our build stage. And then um, the input type is going to be the source control repository at this git, this git URL. And we're going to build the master branch. And right now we'll set it up to automatically execute job, uh, the job when, it's, uh, when a commit is pushed. Um, or you can uh, optionally choose to only do it manually. Uh, depends on what you want. Um, next we just need to go to jobs here. We want to add a job. So we're going to add a build job. And from this build job, you can choose a builder type. So since we're using Maven, we're going to choose a simple Maven build here. And then it allows you to customize this Maven command. Now, ours is pretty simple. So this, this suggested Maven package uh, build uh, goal will actually work for us. But you can choose um, to run um, other profiles. So if you need to specify a profile for your build, you can do that. Or you can choose to run other goals if you want. You can pretty much customize um, uh, uh, this in any way you really want. You could run uh, additional Maven commands uh, and not just run one. You could run Maven clean and then Maven package if you wanted to. Um, but all this is customizable. So you have complete control of how you want to do your Maven build just by uh, specifying um, uh, the Maven commands here uh, in the build command field. Um, then everything is going to be put, uh, all the archive uh, or the WAR file is going to be built, is going to be put into the target directory so we can leave that uh, to be fine. If you are putting your, uh, uh, your, your build archive in a different directory, you can specify that here. And from after that, you can just click Save. And that will save our build configuration. Now you can test this out very easily. So if you click on your build here, you'll see that there haven't been any builds yet. But if we click Run Stage, um, this will uh, execute the build, um, uh, our Maven build, just as it would on our local machine. Uh, and we can uh, see the output here uh, right from the, in the log output right here in real time. So you can see that our build was successful and we've uploaded our artifacts. So we can actually go and see those artifacts. If you go back to the top and click on artifacts here, you actually see what was in our target folder. So you can see that the WAR was produced, um, and these are other directories that are now in our target folder as well. I can download this WAR directly from here if I want to, or I can drill down into any of these directories and look at some of the output if I want to as well. So that's just a quick uh, tutorial of how to do Maven builds with IBM's DevOps services. I hope it helps.